hello friends today we are going to start stereochemistry this is a very important topic better understanding of this topic is essential for an organic chemist to understand stereochemical outcome of a reaction nowadays in competitive examinations questions are directly asked from this topic or this is linked with most of the organic reaction based questions i am going to start with the presentation of bonds in stereochemistry in stereochemistry bonds are represented by solid line solid wedge and hatched wedge these three presentations have different meanings a solid line represents a bond present on the plane of the paper a solid wedge represents a bond pointing out of the plane of the paper towards the viewer and a hatched wedge represents a bond pointing back from the plane of the paper away from the viewer projection formulas compounds are three dimensional but when we show their structure we are limited to a two dimensional sheet of paper the ways of presenting three dimensional molecules on the two dimensional paper are known as projection formulas projection formulas when only one center is considered there are two formulas for this type of presentation perspective or flying wedge formula and fisher projection formula in a perspective formula two bonds are drawn on the plane of the paper a solid wedge is used to represent a bond that projects out of the plane of the paper towards the viewer and a hatched wedge is used to represent a bond that projects back from the plane of the paper away from the viewer the point of attachment of four bonds represents central atom this skeleton is the perspective formula of this 3d skeleton where a sphere represent the central atom bond a and b are the bonds shown by solid line bond c has been shown by solid wedge and bond d by hatched wedge perspective formula can also be shown by three other different ways like this suppose we have to draw perspective perspective formula of l lactic acid to accomplish this task we will first draw the skeleton consisting of two solid lines a solid wedge and a hatched wedge now put four groups carboxylic acid methyl hydroxy and h and the four bond termini to get complete perspective formula of lactic acid if we rotate the structure about this axis through 180 degrees clockwise the formula will become like this if we rotate the structure clockwise in the plane of the paper through 60 degrees then the formula will become like this and if we rotate the structure anti clockwise in the plane of the paper through 120 degrees then the formula will become like this effect of exchange of groups on configuration in perspective formula single exchange of position of groups causes change in configuration of a molecule while 
double exchange of position of groups leaves the configuration unchanged. Let's take the example of lactic acid. The absolute configuration of this molecule as drawn here is R. If you make a single exchange between two groups, let it be between methyl and carboxylic group, then after exchange the configuration becomes S. Here you have done exchange between the groups present on the solid line, but you can choose any pair of groups for the exchange that will have the same effect. Thus, if you want to draw enantiomer in the perspective formula, you just make a single exchange in the original molecule, it would give enantiomer. Let us again take lactic acid with R configuration. Now, make two exchanges one between methyl and carboxylic acid group and other between H and hydroxy group. The resulting structure has R configuration which is the same as the original molecule. Now we will discuss Fischer projection formula. In Fischer projection formula, a molecule is represented by a cross. The point of intersection represents central atom. Horizontal lines represent bonds projecting out of the plane of the paper towards the weaver. And vertical lines represent bonds pointing back from the plane of the paper away from the viewer. You can also imagine the Fischer projection formula like this. This formula is the Fischer projection formula of this 3D skeleton where a sphere is central atom, bond A and B correspond to the horizontal lines while C and D correspond to the vertical lines. Now let us take the example of making Fischer projection formula of L lactic acid. For this first make a cross then put four groups carboxylic acid methyl, hydroxy and H on the four bonds termini to get the Fischer projection formula of lactic acid. Rotation of Fischer projection formula. In Fischer projection formula, 90 degrees rotation in the plane causes change in configuration while 180 degrees rotation leaves the configuration unchanged. For example, if you take S lactic acid and rotate its Fischer projection formula clockwise through 90 degrees in the plane, it will give R lactic acid. Thus, if you want to draw the structure of enantiomer of a molecule in Fischer projection formula, you just rotate the Fischer projection 90 degrees in the plane. If you rotate 180 degrees in the plane, it will give the structure in S configuration, which is the same as the original molecule. Effect of exchange of groups on configuration. In Fischer projection formula, like perspective formula, single exchange of position of groups causes change in the configuration of the molecule, while double exchange of position of groups 
leaves the configuration unchanged. Let's take the example of lactic acid. The absolute configuration of this molecule as drawn here is S. If you make single exchange between two groups, let it be between hydrogen and carboxylic acid, then after exchange the configuration becomes R. Here you have done exchange between the groups present on the vertical and horizontal lines but you can choose any pairs of groups for the exchange. Thus if you want to draw edensumer in Fisher projection you just make single exchange between two groups in the original molecules that will give you an enzymer. Let us again take lactic acid with S configuration. Now make two exchanges one between hydrogen and carboxylic acid and other between methyl and hydroxyl group. The resulting structure has S configuration which is the same as the original molecule. Conversion of perspective formula to Fisher projection formula. Suppose we have R lactic acid represented by the perspective formula and we have to convert it into Fisher projection. There are two easy methods to convert perspective formula to Fisher projection formula. In the first method, make a cross and view the molecule like this. In this view, atom H present on the hatched base is on the left and OH present on the solid wedge is on the right. Both are coming towards you. So put H on the left and OH on the right in the Fisher projection. Carboxylic acid on the top and CH3 on the bottom are going away from you. So put carboxylic acid on the top and CH3 on the bottom of the Fisher projection. In the second method, make a cross and view the molecule like this. In this view, CH3 will be on the left and carboxylic acid will be on the right coming towards you. So put CH3 on the left and carboxylic acid on the right in the Fisher projection. OH on the top and H on the bottom are going away from you so put OH on the top and H on the bottom of vertical line of Fisher projection. Conversion of Fisher projection formula to perspective formula. To understand this interconversion let's again take the example of R lactic acid represented by Fisher projection formula. We know that in the Fisher projection groups present on the horizontal line project towards the viewer while groups present on the vertical line go away from the viewer. So for the better understanding you can draw this Fisher projection like this. Now if you rotate the molecule around this axis clockwise to the extent that brings the hatched wedges in the plane then the left solid wedge will convert into hatched wedge while the right solid wedge will remain as solid wedge giving rise to the perspective formula like this. Similarly if you rotate the molecule around this axis anti-clockwise to the extent that brings the hatched wedges in the plane 
then the right solid wage will convert into hatched wage while the left solid wage will remain as solid wage giving rise to the perspective formula like this that's it for today please don't forget to watch the next lecture in which we will be discussing different projection formulas when two centers are taken under consideration.